Hi, I'm Nick the History Kid. I'm a young patriot who loves history and feels the need to share it with people of all ages. Today I'm at Jockey Hollow in Morristown, New Jersey. Jockey Hollow is the winter encampment area for George Washington's troops. The neutral terrain, availability of water, and distance from the British made this an ideal place to camp during the winter of 1779 and 1780. New Jersey can get cold during the winter, and it does snow here quite often. But when you come here to Jockey Hollow and see the primitive huts the troops built to protect them from the coldest winters ever recorded, we will go in some of these huts recreated on a hilltop later. First, let's go inside the Welcome Center, which is also a small museum. The museum also has a recreation of inside a hut. You can see old John Hawkins scratching his name on his powder horn. Some of us is likely to play some marbles and cards. Nobody comes in the room, but like there's not going to be a much of a in the time. On October 17, 1779, the Continental Army encamped for the winter at Jockey Hollow until January 1780. This location was perfect because the elevation of Jockey Hollow was several hundred feet above the British to the east. The mountains also allowed revolutionary soldiers to spot British movement. Another reason this location was chosen because the surrounding area held citizens sympathetic to the rebel cause. That winter was the cruelest of the war, including the one at Valley Forge two years later. The Wake House was restored to near original condition in 1934. This home is an example of integral lean to style of New England. The house was built between 1747 and 1750 by Henry Wick. Mr. Wick and his family migrated from Long Island. Settlers were attracted to Morse County because of its good farmland, virgin timber, and supply and deposits of iron ore. Henry Wick's main crop was trees, which brought him his wealth. When you come inside the Wick House, you will see an interpreter who will tell you the history about the house. You actually feel like you're back in time. When you come into the house, there's rooms in the back. This was the officer's bedroom. This was the wick bedroom. A wooden home was unusual in pioneering days in Morris County. In the northern and eastern counties, stone was common while brick was the main building material near the Delaware River. So, the wick home made from wood reflected their wealth. Twelve men often shared one of over 1,000 huts built in Jockey Hollow to house the army. Desertions were commonplace. The entire Pennsylvania contingent successfully mutinied and later 200 New Jersey soldiers attempted to do the same. Several of the ringleaders from New Jersey contingent were hanged. Washington ordered this to make an example of them and stop the desertions. 
It was tough decisions like these that kept this army together, and it worked. Do you remember my tour of the Ford Mansion when I showed you George Washington's office? Today you are getting an idea of what kind of decisions he made here. The soldiers had to build their own huts, including surrounded trenches for drainage. The huts, made of logs, were 14 by 16 square feet and six and a half feet high. Twelve men often shared one of over 1,000 huts. Inside, we have a fireplace for warmth and cooking. The soldiers also had to make their own furniture, including bunks and tables. The bunks got covered with straw, and each soldier was given one blanket. If I was a young soldier in 1779, I don't know if I could have endured all of this. I can't make a hut or furniture. I don't even see where I could plug in and charge my iPod Touch. Yes, my generation had, it's, had it easy because of the sacrifices these men made. That's why we must learn from our past, our history, and give credit where credit is due. By 1780, soldiers had built about 1,200 huts in Jockey Hollow. Joseph P. Martin wrote about his experience, and I quote, The deep snow was the keystone in this arch of starvation. We were absolutely, literally starved. For four days and as many nights, I did not put a single morsel into my mouth except a little black birch of bark. I gnawed off a limb. Some men boiled and ate their shoes. Some officers killed a pet dog for food. If this was not starving, I wonder what what was. We enjoy living in America because of all the sacrifices that were made here in that period of our history. True patriotism was defined under Washington and is what is missing in America today. The Constitution is the law of the land, and we must defend it, honor it, and live by it. George Washington had a great plan for this country, and who are we to mess it up? I'm Nick the History Kid, and I hope you enjoyed our tour today of Jockey Hollow. Until next time, remember this. New Jersey, from the Revolutionary War to the Jersey Shore, both history and fun await you.